Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day and today we are here with a video on maniacal monkeys, the hunting method of maniacal monkeys that is. The main reason someone would have for doing maniacal monkey hunting is that it is AFK and pretty decent XP per hour at med levels. Towards the latter levels, getting closer to 99, it's not as great because some of those methods start to really progress in XP, but it's still AFK, and that is a selling point to many, I would imagine. As far as what you're going to need for this method, 60 Hunter is the requirement. I'm personally 74 at the moment. In addition to that, you need Monkey Madness 2 completed to be able to enter the hunting area, and if you don't have Bones to Bananas tablets, you need 15 Magic, but that, that's... It's pretty easy, I would imagine. Pretty simple method, so we'll just go ahead and get right on into it. As far as the inventory, I have nature runes and bones to bananas. This is because bananas are used to set up the traps, so you're going to be converting the bones in there to bananas. The tablets are useful because it will save you time that I will explain later. However, nature runes can also be brought if you don't have access to tablets or if you just don't want to spend the extra money. But if, if you're worried about money, trust me, it's definitely worth it. Along with that, you can bring a knife if you want a passive 1 to 2k crafting XP per hour. It's not much, but it's something. A Krut Gree Gree is necessary for this hunting method. If you do not have it, you can actually pick it up to the northwest of the gnome field. By talking to Zook Nock and talking about Monkey Talismans, he'll give you another if you have lost it. And as far as the gear, I have a ring of dueling for teleports there and back. And graceful, that isn't really all too necessary because you're not going to be doing that much running. And I also have a mud battle staff. This is for the bones to bananas. Now, a mud battle staff requires 30 magic, but... Again, if, if you're doing it for some reason, I'm sure you probably still have 30 magic. If not, just bring water and earth runes. As far as how to get there, I use the dual arena teleport and then run to the glider. Using the glider, we will click on the monkey and uh, that will take us to Apatol. On the south, there's a little trap door that you can go into. You know this if you've done the quest. Uh, after going down immediately to the north, there are some monkey bars over here. You're going to have to throw on the crack gree gree and uh, swing across. And upon going into the crevice at the end of the monkey bars, we are in a room with bones that we will turn into bananas, large boulders that will be cutting off the tails of monkeys, and uh, some stunted demonic gorillas. These are going to be what we have to be on to do the hunting methods, so go ahead and climb on one. Once you're on, you're liable to catch some monkey tails. So setting up our monkey trap, basically you just use one banana, you can dismantle it whenever you want, get that same banana back if you need. But we'll set it up and typically it takes like, you know, 15, 30 seconds for it to go down and there's probably like a 60 to 70% chance I'm gonna get it. Now this is the rock I use. Personally, I don't know what the best rock is. It's, it's very hard to tell because there's a lot of RNG related to this. Like sometimes you can get really lucky catching them, sometimes you won't. And since you don't catch that many an hour, it's just hard as hell to test. But there's seems to be a lot of traffic in the middle so I just hang out over here and uh, wait for tails to come my way just like that. Now the reason that this method is so sick because as you saw that was probably about 20-25 seconds and if I show the XP drop it is uh, pretty significant in a full 1000. It's definitely a nice hunter method if you're just trying to do something on the side or even a mobile method. I love this method on mobile. Personally, I, one of my favorites. As far as the training itself, it, it's pretty easy. You know, you just sit here and then every now and then, you know, like every 15 minutes or so, you're going to have to get a new inventory of bones. But if, if you just collect the bones next to you kind of passively over time, you can just save yourself time instead of having to run around and collect a full inventory. And the extra crafting XP that you can get is by using your knife on these damaged tails and getting sinew. Uh, 15 crafting XP per one, and obviously, you know, you get a decent bit per hour, so. Some pretty nice stuff. Now, in regards to the bones to bananas, if I broke this tablet right now, these bones are going to turn into bananas. You do this at the end of the trip, but just for demonstration purposes, we will see that that is the case. Typically, fill up a full inventory so you can get the most out of it. However, if I pick up this bone, we can see that I have no access to my spell books. So if you wanted to actually use the spells, you have to go over here, use your holding area, like just get off of your gorilla, go out front, and then take the Gree Gree off and use the Bones to Bananas spell. And that is just a process. That's why I wouldn't recommend it. If for some reason you have to absolutely do it, then sure, but it's, it's not good. You save yourself 380 GP at the cost of 
probably about 30 seconds to a minute of uh, <laughs> just running in and out. So just don't enjoy it. But if you have to, you know, you have to, I guess. The XP per hour here from my testing at about 60, you'll be averaging close to 60K per hour. As you get up closer to 70, it gets closer to 75K. 80, you'll be lingering around 85, 90K. And at 99, you can get as high as 120K XP per hour, which is not a ton considering what black chinchampas can do but since it is afk xp i mean you can't really scoff at it like it's it's pretty nice now it would appear that this method makes you no money because those damaged monkey tails are worth nothing however there's a one in 5k chance of you getting a 500k monkey tail it's 500k at the moment may not always be that way but essentially that works out to 100 gp per catch which isn't great but it's a little bit of side money i guess so that's the good part. The bad part when doing this hunting method is you don't have a chance at the hunting pet because that's a Chinchampa based pet, not a Maniacal Monkey based pet, so you just can't get it. But that's going to be it for me in today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I just love this method, so I figured I'd throw it out there for you guys if you have been looking for something like this. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. Anything you want to tell me, let me know in a comment down below. And on top of that, if you want to see more of my content as soon as it goes live, make sure to subscribe. With that said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. And, uh... Bye.